Uh, hi, Chelts. <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing for? <laughs> this has been such an awkward night. Uh, I Saturn is definitely direct. I don't know if you're into astrology, but it's clear that the stars are starring right now. Uh, Did Bond just call you? Who? Bond? No, I haven't even spoke to Bond. So oh, I just got, he just he just called me, so that's why I started laughing. Oh, um, how, how was that exchange? Same old shit. I, I, I did my one little apology. We argued. <laughs> we agreed to disagree. <laughs> we said what it was. We said what it is. Mm-hmm. I, I stood on what happened. Mm-hmm. He said, well, it wasn't that bad. It, it doesn't matter what you did. It. This is what you did. But I will say sorry for what you didn't do. And then he said I should have fought harder for his name. I said, you couldn't have told people you was fucking me on an air mattress and nothing in my face. And you thought I was going to get on this internet and help you out. That just wasn't going to happen. And so, yeah, we uh, we patched it up. Okay, then, so then my question is, because it really ain't no point in everybody trying to handle all this shit on the low, low how 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 you feel about coming onto the platform and speaking your piece? We're not. That's that, that's 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 the point. Um, I'm I'm in a new chapter in my life. Mm-hmm. I'm about to be a mom. I'm about to. Be oh a man. my I'm God, to... Chelsea! Congratulations! So, oh my God! You know what I mean? So wow. I'm 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 in in talks with. My my new baby mama, and there's videos that she's researching. She want to know who's around her son. She want to know who's living with her son. She want to know, and she rightfully so. And I'm having to answer for things. Hold on. Are you, you're not saying she as in she, are you? Don't get excited. No, I'm talking about my man's baby. Oh, <laughs> okay. But no, I mm-hmm. just like, you know, I the life I built in Miami was kind of um, very isolated from yeah. the internet. I came here. I didn't tell nobody who I was. Yeah. I did not tell nobody what I did. I did not tell nobody who I worked for. Mm-hmm. So now that things are moving in a different direction and people are looking up my name and yeah. they're like, well, what is this? What is this? What happened with this? What happened with that? Yeah. And so um, that's the only thing. Yeah, so yeah. I don't want to... I don't want to rehash it because it should have never been anybody's business. You shouldn't have been involved. Storm shouldn't have been involved. Tasha shouldn't have been involved. It shouldn't yeah. have gotten like And we this. all got dragged accordingly, which is why I feel like I'm old. A, a, Everybody, look. I'm old, a world. public, like, you know what? Maybe things went too far. Things went too left. Looking back in retrospect, you know, it, it, it was a lot that happened. And everybody just want to be well going forward. Yeah, and so that's what I was on the phone with Vaughn, mm-hmm. trying to explain to him because he wanted he wanted the same thing. He wanted the the internet yeah. education. I said to him, I said, "You're at a point." I said, "Regardless of how our situation happened, we did have deep and intimate talks yeah. about what you wanted for your life." And I said, "It may not feel like that right now because you're holding on to who wronged you." But I said, "You had exactly what you." wanted in life you are yeah. known for something that's not attached to somebody else's fame that's not attached to drama with another woman you've never been on social media for what you're known for he was like don't try to butter me up i'm rich as fuck right now. <laughs> and i'm just like you're like you're missing it because maybe like i said you're still holding on to who wronged you well you know the well to be honest point because i like i remember at that time that i was in conversation with vaughn i mean the rape and the physical abuse stuff is very polarizing anybody and, is gonna lose their shit over i mean could you imagine somebody accusing you of molesting or raping them chelsea and you no, i couldn't have because you know what i would have took the court like i did like, I, did, I filed it. I put your name on it. I put Storm's name on it. And I put Vaughn's name on it. Vaughn's lawyer got um, got contacted. And Vaughn got, oh, she's trying to send me back to jail. No, you said that somebody tried to accuse you of rape and sexual assault. I gave you the alley-oop. I gave you the alley-oop. I gave you what you needed to, to, to make it right. Because at the end of the day, 
they would have done an investigation and all parties involved would have had to went, sworn, testify, who said what to who and who did what. And because I was comfortable in knowing that I never said it and that I never implied it, I didn't give a fuck what happened to who because I just knew that it, it didn't have anything to do with me. And so when Vaughn tried to bring that up, he was like, I was just fighting because my name is da 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 and you shouldn't have put a restraining order. I said, no, 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 Booski. Oh. No, you didn't. Okay, so. I said, I said, Vaughn, you can go look at the transcripts. The court still has the videos filed. You said that your family wanted my head. You knew where, where I parked my car at night. You said your cousin was going to beat me up. You came to my house and left my door unlocked. I said, Vaughn, those were, he was like, but I never physically touched you. I said, okay, you're not going to take accountability. I'm not taking accountability for someone else telling y'all something else. He was like, but you should have said something during consciousness live and stuff like this. I was just like, at the end of the day, Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, before you go for it. So then, okay, so I I need a moment of truth because I know you never said that publicly, but you did say it to me privately. I and, didn't do that, Vaughn tried to sexually, okay, you want to know, here's, here's what happened. Mm-hmm. Me and Vaughn have broken up December 7th. Yeah. I, I had the December 7th, I had the text messages, I got the U-Haul truck receipt. All, all, all of that. Mm-hmm. And so he didn't have the money to move out or whatever it is. Yeah. I said, cool. Me, and I even said this on the phone with Ron. I said, me and you already knew what it was from the beginning. I didn't want to tell Tasha. And, and you wanted to keep working with Storm and to build your channel and stuff like that. I wanted Tasha to keep paying me to be in Atlanta. We both knew what we were doing. Yeah. I said, when it was just me and you, it was cool. Nobody knew the issues. Nobody knew where certain people were sleeping. Mm-hmm. It was just that. When? Uh, I hope I don't regret saying this. You're not going to regret it. Like I said, I moved to a new city yeah. where I did not know anybody. Tasha said she had my back. And she I did. I had no reason to think that she wouldn't have my back. Mm-hmm. So when, and this is where I have to take accountability, I yeah. shouldn't have let her in my business mm-hmm. because where I thought she was being a big sister, she was just doing different things yeah. that at the time I was not able to see it. You know, you just, went, yeah. you think like, I just moved here, she paying me all this money, she let me drive her car, she gave me the money for the apartment, she trying to help me with my church. So you just think that it's just like, the good outweighs the bad. So... The little shit where I kind of was like, why would you do that? Yeah. I let it go because, and this is where I don't know if I'm just naive yeah. or I'm just like, Tasha Tasha has a way, and Storm can tell you this, she'll just keep saying stuff mm-hmm. and then and then kind of be like, because she's older or whatever, you'd be like, girl, you don't understand what happened to you. So me and Vaughn, we was already broken up. Vaughn was walking around the house. He's sleeping on the couch. I'm sleeping in the bed. We share in the closet. We share in the bathroom. He walk around the house butt ass naked. All this, he's always done that. Yeah. And then one day, what's him call? Sometimes we would fight, play around, yeah. mess around, keep it going. Some days we would fight. I'm not into it. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. dead ass. Get the fuck off of me. Get away from me. Right. And so he brought me like a donut. And he left the donut on my pillow. He said, did you want the donut? I said, no. He left it on my pillow, left. He, I ate the donut. He came back in. He's like, I thought you said you didn't want the donut. And I started laughing. Mm-hmm. And then he had just got out of the shower. And then he, like, got to bed. I'm like, Vaughn, don't even fucking play with me. He was like, uh, all this other shit. I'm like, mm-hmm. nigga, please, like, come on now. And then we got to just hustle or whatever. But mm-hmm. it was never serious to wear Okay. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. So Tasha, we be in the studio. Tasha's asking me, mm-hmm. um, what's the call? Uh, uh, oh, y'all still fucking? I'm like, girl, we not fucking. She was like, yes, you know, I know you fucking. I said, girl, he tried to, he tried to do a little something in the morning, but I curved him. I wasn't into it. I told him, get the fuck out of my house. You gotta go because I can't. It's been a month. Like you gotta get out. Mm-hmm. And so she was just like. He um he he tried to get in bed with you when he ain't had no clothes on. I'm just like yeah, and so she's just like, girl, that's that's why wow, nah, that's not cool. That's not cool. I'm like, Tasha, it's not like that big of a deal. Like we've been doing yeah. this for weeks. 
like, she was like, you don't know, because you're young, you don't know, he's older, he's trying to take advantage of you, so I'm thinking in my head, like, well, okay, I'm like, okay, well, maybe, maybe it was something more, and this is, this is where my revelation came in, mm. and believe it or not, it was when, um, y'all mm. had posted that fake text message of me apologizing for a rape. And I had screenshot it and actually filed. I, I filed it with the court. Mm-hmm. And I basically now I didn't know that it was fake. It was presented to me as an authentic situation. I didn't know it was Girl, per se fake. I got on the phone with everybody. Everybody claimed my name Benny. I ain't in it. I don't know who's. I don't know. I don't know. I was like, okay, whatever. If don't nobody know, <laughs> let the judge find out. Peace. And I had posted it on. on I'm gonna tell you why I thought it was authentic because to your point. Like I said, even when you had told me about the situation privately, there was this air of you you didn't feel he was trying to rape you, but it was just an uncomfortable situation to be in. And so when that that shit got sent to me, I was like, well, maybe she is like like wanting to speak to that and be like, let me be clear. I, I okay. never and said you raped me or nothing like that. That wasn't I I never wanted that narrative spun, etc. So the thing is like what people don't understand, and this is also where Vaughn needs to take accountability, mm-hmm. he tried to make it seem like the restraining order had something to do with with an assault or or whatever, whatever. I said, Vaughn, mm-hmm. the transcripts are public. I said you gave King Payne the, the video of the fucking um of the police coming to pick you up or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you give him the transcript? Because when you file a restraining order to somebody, they specifically ask you, has this person ever sexually assaulted you? Mm-hmm. I had to check no. Has this person ever physically assaulted you? I had to check no. Then they ask you again to write into words that this person has never sexually or physically assaulted you. I wrote out, he no. has never put his hands on me or there was no physical altercation so my thing is this like you had all this information he was like well i never read it okay that's not my motherfucking fault you didn't read this shit you should you should have screenshot it and it posted it to everybody saying that she's accusing me why did she write that i never touched i literally wrote it yeah. i wrote it i told these motherfuckers i wanted you out of my apartment because you were hanging out by the damn car and he was like, I wasn't hanging out by the car. You said it in the video. Well, I was just trying to defend my name. Okay, well, dumbass, you said it on camera. So what do you, what do you, I said, I just moved to the city. I don't know nobody. I don't know if you really, what you talk about. And then he claimed he never tried to accuse me of shooting him. And I said, Vaughn, please, we, we can't sit back and forth and act like, long, long term short. Yeah. So when, when that came out and I had filed it and then I posted that all this happened, then Tasha calls me. And she's screaming. She's like, why the fuck would you do that? And da, 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 da. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, they're mm-hmm. accusing me of accusing somebody of rape. She was like, you're such a little girl. You need to take accountability. What? They're just trying to take, they're trying to take the, the, they're trying to take the attention away from my interview with the with the boy with Larry. Mm-hmm. I said, "How does this take away?" The, she was like, "They're just using you to get to me. You need to be stronger than that. Who gives a fuck?" And I said, "What do you mean? Who gives a fuck?" I was like, "What are you, what are you talking about?" I said, "I'm a real domestic violence mm-hmm. survivor, baby. I got a medical record. They got photos and shit. Every time I go to, even when I get pulled over by the police, it's listed." On my goddamn driving record, that I was a victim of of, of sexual assault. So mm. no, I can't have nobody saying that I'm putting fake allegations because yeah. God forbid something ever does happen to me. That's the first thing a lawyer is gonna bring up. Oh well, they right. said she lied about another. Mm-hmm. Thing. I said so, and I was like, why does it matter to you that that I I wanted to clear it up? I'm gonna tell you she why like, though. She 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 went because she had already put her neck on the line regarding that narrative. So you. Saying, uh, what but the I fuck? I did not know that. But mm-hmm. here's the thing: the conversation between the conversation that Storm kept saying, Tasha called him and said that if he keeps, first of all, me and me and Vaughn, the whole point of me and Vaughn just keeping it private was that so Vaughn can get his YouTube up and have enough money that he go move in with Storm. Storm had a two bedroom. Why the fuck would I want them to stop being friends if I wanted this nigga out of my house? 
So the conversation where Storm kept saying, oh, she called me and she threatened me and stuff like that. Tasha told me, oh, it never happened. That never happened. I never said that. I never said that. And I'm thinking in my head, like, oh, y'all niggas is just cloud chasers and liars because I have no reason to believe that you lied to me about that. So long story short. And and I know that she had that conflict because Tasha had the same conversation with me about Vaughn. Oh, so again, these back backwards these back back conversations that she's having with you and Storm mm-hmm. and all these people, she's telling me they're lying. I never spoke to him, I never spoke to him, whatever, whatever. So long story short, I get with my man. Mm-hmm. My man is very successful he owns a club he owns a couple smoke shops he owns his own business i find out that tasha tried to hire a private eye to investigate him and a bunch of just very invasive yikes and when i asked her why she's been keeping tabs on y'all like that and so when i asked her why i mean i don't know if i did it to you I did it to Storm. I did it to King Pain. I did it to Vaughn. So I'm not. I'm not gonna be like, oh my god. I can't but that's do this. different because you looked at us as the ops when everything fell apart. I could see people. I I could see playing Inspector Gadget on the ops. But but why? But like your friend, your your partner, your your somebody in your circle. Like being all up in your shit when they already got access and proximity to you. It's it's not you necessary. Know, you know, she didn't. Because like I said, when we had moved here, I had no friends. I had no I had my family. Like most yeah. of my family lives down here. So I had my family, like my actual like my daddy nieces mm-hmm. down here. And so I had already made up in my mind that this was a new city. Yeah. I was not going to make the same mistakes twice. Me and my man lived together over a year. Tasha has never laid eyes on him and we live across the street. Like, I'm looking at her condo right now. We, she's never came over my house. Wow. She's never seen him. She's been to his businesses before, mm. all that other shit. But, and I think that's what played into the paranoia. And mm. and she said she wanted, he's a he's a cop chaser. He's 50 years old. He don't even have it. He just asked me to make an Instagram for his club. He don't got no Instagram. He don't got a Facebook. He's a 50-year-old man. Mm-hmm. This is a grown man. And so wow. once I had found out that I started doing some digging mm-hmm. of my own mm-hmm. and I stumbled on some stuff mm-hmm. that was very interesting mm-hmm. going back to 2021. Mm-hmm. And so with that, I felt like I owed Vaughn an apology. And so I reached out to him and I apologized to him. And then he called me and mm-hmm. we got to arguing. And then, yeah. And then I reached out to you, and I reached out to a couple other people, and I asked them to remove my name mm-hmm. or my video, I mean, my face or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be in regards to anything that has to do with a sexual assault, because I had nothing to do with that. So do you have any problem with saying that publicly, with saying that that yeah. part of shit, I can, yeah. I can say... No, I'm not trying to say nothing. But look, when girls, Chelt, that, car- that karma, that sis, that karma is not. It, it it ain't gonna lift until until you you truly lift. Oh, it. when I get ready, I'm I'm, I'm just not, no, not now. I'm not. No, not now. I had a miscarriage last year. I'm going to have sorry to hear that. Quiet pregnancy. I'm gonna be doing baby content. And, and doing bottle reviews and, and stuff like that. I'm not going to. But you know, but you got to play it fair, Chills. You cannot take your own reputation so seriously that you would like other people to edit certain things out and to remove certain things and, and would not do the same thing for Bond, where, where there is what? error at. Like, I, I mean, if anything, I, I don't, it, it, he should do the same thing. I mean, at the end of the day, when this is all said and done, I want y'all to push. I I can't, I can't, because it couldn't have been me. One thing about me, 911, stay on speed dial. Maybe I, <laughs> that part. <laughs> I don't, I don't do certain things. So, if you want, like I said, 
there's a lot going on over there. And a, a, a animal that feels like they be oppressed against the wall and do crazy, crazy things. Yeah. Like I said, I confronted her about certain things. Yeah. And instead, I got accused of I got accused of, of doing others stealing and all that. I said, oh I asked you why you said to this man that, that I said that he tried to rape me and you talk about I stole money from you. I, I don't understand how so That's what she like, does. She fucking deflects when and I saw it's time for her, and I, saw her, I said, baby, when this is all said and done, she was like, I know you're gathering information. I know you're going to write a documentary. I know you're going to try to take me down. I said, if you think that in your head, that's fine. I said, I better not get on the internet. And next thing you know, I'm a child molester. I'm a pedophile. I tried to fuck your husband. I stole money out your purse. That's what she gearing I up just, for. She going to stay on ready now. She going to be on ready. So, um, okay. Okay. another reason why I don't want to come out and say stuff because I've already contacted my lawyers. She already contacted her lawyers. Right. But you can still say something without talking about Tasha. You can just speak to the Von Ray era and just what you want to have a clear conscience about and what you want to be clear about publicly regarding that. It's not going to happen right now. It's going to happen. It's just not going to happen right now. So the reason why I have reached out to everybody Mm -hmm. in the moment was because when, when I really got confirmation about other stuff when it came to like, County the closer when it came to yeah. Bondi, when it came to the, I just started getting more and more information and stuff like that. Then I was just like, oh, okay, so we just we just gotta do it fast, mm-hmm. but snip immediately. So that's why I reached out to you because it just was getting okay. Because I was wondering like what happened because I I had I wasn't surprised you reached out to me because I had just saw some I think Sweet Pea Diaries had made a video. <laughs> Uh, when well, she had made a video and it had showed up in my home page and it was titled something like Chelsea quit for Tasha and then she claimed she got an email from a moderator who was basically saying it seems like Chelsea done quit and she ain't been around for the group text and chat and all that and all this and all this. So I was like, oh, okay, that's 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 interesting. So when you had hit me up, I was like, well, I, I'm assuming something it's, it's shit transpiring, but with with the Tasha K piece, I mean, how have you been processing that emotionally? This was this was somebody that you had a personal relationship with. Everybody know that y'all were tighter than rice, that y'all were ace boom cones. So, with it being where it is now, what does that feel like for you? Uh-huh. Do you not I'm give a fuck, or I'm just not the type of person. Believe it or not, I'm just not the type of person. I can't. I can't get in the mud with you, mm-hmm. and then and then when you when, they, when we fall out, get up and be like, she's so dirty. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I just I, I I just can't do it. So I mean, but do you like, feel sad? I mean, is it like damn, like a friendship? Like I, I'm losing like all all this history and time and all this stuff, and now it's like like I said that I'm I'm reading text messages and DMs and emails mm-hmm. from 2001. 2002 mm. is not making me feel like oh my god I'm losing my friend it's wow. like my friend specifically <laughs> used and abused Damn. me in a certain type of way and that's what I'm saying that's why I yeah. don't want to come out and have I, oh I am it's gonna yeah. be a big one I ain't gonna be like Storm I ain't doing no three four hour mm. YouTube video it's, <laughs> trust me like I said lawyers are called television networks have been contacted it's gonna be a big one when i do my big one and everybody will be everything will be put on the table absolutely oh, but um wow no no so what does that mean for you and the other yep and kiwi girls like are you still cool with anybody in that on in, on that side of the fence yeah, Jasmine okay. just came over my house, we went out to dinner, me and her sister are so cool, me and her yeah. mom are cool, and I think that's what's really, like, irking her Yeah, child. yeah. Because I'm trying So I'm you know she's going to apply that pressure eventually to Jasmine, just like she did with Storm about Bond, like, you know that that's coming, right? You know she going to eventually... Um, she tried it, she, she tried, but the thing is, I'm trying to explain to Tasha, I said, people are at their wit's ends with you. Yeah. 
and she's and oh, and, and, and people trying to change the picture. I said, babe, she's working. She's been working off of paranoia and yeah. survival for so long. And at one point, everybody just started to feel bad. Like, you know, oh, she always, nobody understands her. But then at this point, people are starting to realize, like, it's, it's very calculated. But no, and I try, yeah. and even check chart, um, check, we had, this has been going on for like over a month. We've mm. had multiple, uh, what is the, what are those things called? Um, mediation meetings. Yeah. And she don't spoke to lawyers and she don't spoke wow. to, to other people and her publicists and stuff like that. I said, honey, if you fall out with me, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can't, I'm not, I'm not yeah. online. I've known you longer than 29 days. Yeah. I'm not Storm. <laughs> I was your paid employee. Mm -hmm. I'm not Larry Reed. I'm not in a, a colleague that you may have gotten a disagreement with. I'm mm -hmm. the girl that watched your kids. I know where the bodies I, are. It, it's mm -hmm. like, it's, I said, we did five years together. Yeah. I said, if you try to come out and you try to say... I can say this about I can say this about her. I don't think she'll strike. I don't think she's going to strike first because of what you're saying. I think she 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 will follow up if once you strike. But I think she gonna she gonna follow your lead. And if you gon if you gonna sit off, she gonna sit off. Oh yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. um, I know. She had King Payne call me, mm -hmm. and I don't think I don't think they realize this that when you call on three way and you got the number saved, yeah, it shows Show up, up. Mm -hmm. that King Payne and Tasha are calling. Yeah. And he called me and was asking me a bunch of questions mm -hmm. and stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, so what's going on? I'm like, oh, man, I'm about to be starting to eat, child. Mm -hmm. and, like, and that's another reason why I just don't want to do the whole thing until all my ducks are in a row. Yeah. Until I'm ready and everything and the check clears for me. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to have that, oh, yeah, she, she knows. She, I have to get it back. I have to get my look back. I have to get my life. And I told Vaughn no, the whole thing. He was like, you guys ruined my life. And da -da -da -da, I got to people think that. It was that. pretty bad, child. It was gruesome. It, 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 it was pretty gruesome. It was a lot, Chelsea. That's why I feel like you can. You can, If you really wanted to, you could. You could speak to that. I'm not doing that. Now. I, I'm just, I, told, I literally just got the phone with Vaughn. I told him the same thing. I'm not doing it now. I said that's the problem. See, that's, I tell people all the time: you cannot beat Tasha K on the internet because you. Do, I feel like you guys, and not just you. I'm talking about just everybody mm -hmm. who goes against her, Larry, everything. Like even that three part series about Larry mm -hmm. Reed and Christmas, that was all taking place in October. She didn't release it until until December. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say? It's wow. Like, it's just like a lot of stuff is very calculated and planned, and the counter moves are planned, and niggas just be wanting to go live and tell and expose it, right? But you don't have enough. You don't have enough. You got to hit people three times, three times, three shots. And so <sighs> it, it's not smart to do just just randomly do it right now. No, I no no. I think the way that you're going to deal with Tasha is genius. I think you really kind of making sure that you get your your bang for a buck like you really set yourself up and shit i mean i hope you putting the shit i hope you 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 get in the book deal you write it in the book i hope you really like yeah like Man, you we should we going to we going to hbo max and that's what i'm talking about shit. i ain't mad about it like you you need to get your everything off of it that you can get off of it like i think it's genius um as it relates to how you want to roll all that out when it comes to her so i think that'll be monumental and i think it'll be very lucrative as well um now now with von ray though i i feel like von ray kind of is outside of that with you and tasha because y'all got y'all like it's a it's a you and him that exists separate from you and tasha relationship and breakdown and all that like you and him is a you and him like universe said, my, my my situation is different like i have a man i have a, a kid on the way like i'm just not going to be on the internet trying to 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 drudge up oh and i told this to Vaughn, and, and but he, is and it you know, drudging like, up if you're putting it to rest if you're saying hey like i'm no, in a new place like and it was some shit that was said and put out that wasn't necessarily true and i just want to say that this ain't that because i can see 
that that man is in a different place. I'm in a different place. And I never publicly ever put that rumor out. Somebody else had did all of that. And I just want to just say that and kiss my ass. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just... So I what does your man know about all of that? Like, what, like, how have you explained the Von Ray shit? Like, does he understand what has um, happened and what didn't happen, or... Like, I thought it's like, the crazy thing is his... Mm-hmm. The girls that work at his store, yeah. they knew me before... They watched it. They already watched it. Yeah. So they watched it in real time. So they watched you. Mm-hmm. They watched King Payne. They watched Storm. I be going through the YouTube search engine when I be coming to the shop to close the shops up. Mm-hmm. His sisters, his sisters be watching Tasha. So everybody felt like they already knew the story. And so when I explained it to him versus what he sees on the internet versus what other people are talking about, like I said, he's he's fifty years old. He just like. Y'all, y'all bitches is crazy. And just really just don't really, it doesn't compute, I guess. Like, he just doesn't understand okay. what the big deal is. Mm. So, but okay. yeah, um, I, I already gave everything to Vaughn. Like, I already told you. I said, I wrote. So I then, if you. I social media that I didn't say it. I already went to the court and told you I didn't say it. I gave you the transcript. Of me saying that I never said it. So what's the difference with him publishing something that you said in a transcript and you just saying it out of your own being? Because I I didn't know. When Tasha had reached out to Storm. Mm -hmm. When Tasha had reached out to Storm that day, she emailed emailed him at 3 o'clock. We were on a two-hour phone call up until probably 2.34. During that phone call, she's talking about, I I was, I, you you told me how to be friends with Larry Reed, and I fell out with Larry. I said, how, you you knew Larry before you even met me. How did I tell you not to be friends with Larry? He was like, you the one that told me to do, I said, I didn't even know anything about no boy, no nothing. I said, you went on Facebook, found all that information. She said, I I went against Storm for you. And I said, uh-uh-uh. You and Storm had been beefing before I even moved to Atlanta mm-hmm. over that Jaguar right situation. And she was just like, you just don't take accountability for nothing. You just, I said, at the end of the day, you're 42, I'm 27. So if I say that somebody is corny or whack or I don't fuck with them or whatever the case may be, and you decide to do something, to, like, I don't understand how me saying right. that I don't like somebody and then you going to call them a pedophile, right. like, I just don't see, I don't see the correlation between those. Right. Like, I don't see how you get that big of a jump. Like, you told me you didn't like um, um, my radio and I just said she was ugly. Like, that's Jesus. usually what friends would do. Right. So, but then you get to emailing him. Yeah. And you're reaching out to him during what was supposed to be an interview, but she said that you were so upset that you couldn't do the interview. So then during your upsetness, you go and you email Storm and you're trying to make amends with Storm after you conven- conveniently just got to phone me and tell me I'm mm-hmm. the reason why you're not friends with Storm anymore. It's just like. Wow little stuff like that yeah. and if I just randomly just well I'm sorry short I have yeah. a plan I I, I, I I have a plan yeah Vaughn Vaughn is in, so my, me- in my mind he's lazy you're lazy you don't need me to, to, to come and say that you never did this you have the paperwork that says you never did it I said take it to court if you want to take it to court like just like I'm and like I said I'm not so then it- Hold on, so, 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 so let me ask you this then. So since y'all spoke, if he was to publish that 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 conversation, would you be okay with that? No. Another because I still don't understand the logic of if you're saying I have already vindicated you, Vaughn, and this stuff is even in transcripts. Like, well, I still don't understand the difference between him then being like, okay, well, I'm going to publish that transcript and that excerpt to vindicate my name when it comes to these particular allegations and you just saying it didn't happen. 
I mean, cause, because it, it's the same thing, except it's just paperwork speaking on your behalf instead of you as yourself just saying the same oh, thing. Oh, you're saying if he went back into the, um, the yeah. transcripts from court mm-hmm. from two years ago? Yeah. Oh, then yeah, I, I, I would have done that from the beginning. That's just, that just would have made sense to me. I would have done, yeah, that I don't care about. You you bringing up the old body cam of the, secu- of the, the officer asking me, has he put your hands in? And me saying no and da, 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 whatever the case may be. Yeah, do all that. But me coming out now, 2024, and be like, he never did it. Like, I'm just not doing that. I'm not doing it like that. <laughs> I'm not doing it on the internet for, for Google ads. No, I'm thinking much bigger. So, oh, but if you're talking about that, putting old transcripts and just letting mm-hmm. everybody know that I never said it, yeah, he could do that if he wants to. But the thing is that I tried to explain to him, and he said I was trying to butter him up or whatever. I said, I'm not trying to butter you. He said I was trying to save myself. I said, save myself from what I'm telling you I never said it. And nobody can say that I ever did. I told him, I said, you're not, you, you have successfully removed yourself from all of this. I said it's still lingering up. it's still lingering in him for the same reason why it's lingering in you like no no it's only it's not lingering in me. I just found out so oh, okay <laughs> and you found out in 2023 and still felt that it was important to take an action even if it was a private one to say hey I'm sorry well I also spoke to um Mr. Two Weeks Out and we was having a good conversation he was like you ain't gotta be his home girl but you know stand on business so let him know and mm-hmm. so that was like fine okay I, I still feel like you could you could you, I could I, I feel could. like you would be big blessed for I feel like all of that karmic energy would just it, it, it would thrive in your favor because it, it, when things happen publicly like this and certain, certain allegations are just like beyond the beyond. And it really takes a justifiable undoing when it comes to certain things. Like all the other shit is like, okay. Like, well, like, it, you said, like you just said, she gonna follow my lead. And if, if I take a shot and me coming out and saying that I never said that about Vaughn, somebody else said it, she's gonna know. That the only other person that could have said it was her, so she's going to take it as a shot, and she's going to shoot back, and I'm just not prepared for that. But why does and she I mean, get to make up with Storm publicly? But you, 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 you. I mean, but no, not make up, but like, why does she maybe. get to then like, why does she get to kind of try to soothe shit? But she expects you to just let the bodies lay wherever they lay. Because if she got the right to contact Storm, you got the right to speak to. Whatever is in your life that has happened that you feel you owe anybody a apology to. And Tasha K doesn't get to dictate whether that happens or doesn't happen. Like I said, I got things. I got Tasha is a great algorithm. Mm-hmm. Um, she is a great algorithm jumper. Mm-hmm. And I need her to be at her full competency when I need her to be at her full competency. That's why I'm just gonna play. I'm play playing. The same reason why okay. when you asked me, when I went over there and I said that Tasha said she was gonna buy you a new blonde wig to mm-hmm. make you sorry, and stuff, and you looked at me and you said you really gonna choose your job over your friend. I looked at you and I said, absolutely, I'm gonna choose the money. And I said it plain like that. Mm-hmm. I'm said, going to she pays me. She pays me well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I'm. And then, I'm and then I later money. said, Cardi B, if you need that excerpt, since this bitch want to be in bankruptcy, claiming she ain't got no employees, you can pull that sound bite from her employees saying how well she gets paid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they, can't nobody say I ain't leave, I ain't leave the horse to water. Can't nobody say I ain't leave no breadcrumbs. <laughs> so, if people, if people ain't, 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 ain't picking up what I'm putting down, that's their own situation, she absolutely can. I think she was supposed to, um, I think I did get a call. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be deposed. I was supposed to be deposed for her bankruptcy thing. And I yeah. I said, baby, the way you've been acting these past couple weeks, you better hope. That doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> if Vaughn is as pressed as you said he was on the phone to be vindicated and to have those allegations lifted, I mean... If he recorded that conversation, then more than likely that conversation probably is going to hit the air. Probably. 
But like I said, I, I told him the same thing. Well, I didn't tell him the same mm-hmm. thing I told you. Yeah. I clearly told you a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But, um, but in regards to, to him, yeah. I, what, what did you want me to say? Which is why I feel like you might as well step into the algorithm too and like speak your own narrative versus. Oh, don't worry. I don't need to. Anytime y'all make a video or y'all say something, I conveniently post a video an hour later. And so then you and so you might as well speak. So then you, you might as well speak to the shit yourself. Like you, you no. might as well speak to the shit yourself. No, I told y'all. I, I just, I just, I told y'all cannot be touched on the internet. Cannot beat her on the internet. It's just we never don't, ever gonna work out. We and don't I'm try to. Like we I join. Said, we join her on the internet. <laughs> we don't try to be her. We we join her. Like I said, I had a better execution. She that she actually texted me the whole idea. She said, "I know you're gonna contact so and so, and I know you're gonna try to set up this, and I know you're gonna do that." She's very very. Yeah. Very, very, she's called multiple people have called me yeah. to warn me that she knows yeah. that I'm gonna do it. and yeah. the crazy thing is like, you know, I wasn't until you kept saying it mm-hmm. and then I had reached out and I saw if they were interested and they said absolutely. So you must know something you must have known it was on the table before me. So like I said, I need her at her full capacity. She might have also been aware that I mean, you might have had access to the things that you finally got access to and saw for yourself. So she might have known that you had all that information and maybe had been sitting on some of that stuff for a minute too. So she really expects you to go full throttle because it would make yeah, sense for you to go she, full throttle. And she expects me to do it in a way that Storm did or mm-hmm. the way that Larry did or the way that you did. And that does nothing That does nothing to her whatsoever. I, I know exactly what her deepest desires are. I know what her fears are. And... And it, it, it far surpasses this YouTube, it far surpasses Cardi B. And so when I do my big one, it's just that's just what it's going to be. And so okay. as for Vaughn, I gave him the apology off of the strength of Mr. Two Weeks Out. I just had told him and we, we were talking about it mm-hmm. and everything like that. And so he, he encouraged me to do it, um, to apologize. Like I said, we got on the phone. Started our back and forth and our arguing, big headed, prideful. He saw me put on my big girl panties. He said I was broken hearted and did all this. And so and so he if he wanted me to do something for him, he mm-hmm. he didn't make he he didn't make me feel like okay this would be this would be a safe place. So um, yeah. yeah, he can he, he he's doing well for himself. He said he's rich as fuck now, so he's doing well for himself, mm-hmm. and um, he will continue to do well for himself. I mean. Okay. Well, like I said, you probably want to be prepare some part of you for those audios to get released because I mean they probably will that they probably will be. I mean, if he if he was as hung up on on vindicating himself from abuse, then I mean I can't imagine that he would not probably leverage those audios to do that in in honor of his innocence. I don't know because I was still dragged. <laughs> no, you see, you so can't, you can't, you can't do that. You can't apologize and hit drag the man. No, I'm saying, I mean, because because he was trying to rope all of it in together, and I yeah. said, I'm, I'm apologizing for one thing. He was like, you didn't, I didn't do anything to you. And I said, oh, yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, you, you did all of that. He was just like, but I didn't hurt you. I was like, you did hurt me. Like, what is that? I didn't physically hurt you. Okay, I don't give a fuck. I never said you did. I wrote it on the, on the paperwork that you never physically hurt me. Mm-hmm. I said you threatened me. You did. I said that you moved downstairs. You did. I said that you, you were on the internet for 14, 16 hours worth of footage. And I downloaded it, and I uploaded it into, um, into so what is it called? Um, Fulton County Web Links. You did. I said, you keep trying to hold this narrative that I made something up to hurt you. Everything that, that restraining, even like you were trying to send me back to jail. I said, you got a restraining order, and then you sent King Payne the video mm-hmm. of you being served the restraining order and posed it as if I was trying to send you back to jail. So then, yeah, you went back to jail. 
because you didn't like you you thought you were you thought you were smarter than me like he's like you didn't have to do all that i said where in your mind did you think i was gonna let you sit up there for five six hours talking about how you nutted in my face on an air mattress wow. and then not have the opportunity to send you back to jail because you're just so fucking stupid Wow. Like, you didn't go to, you didn't get a restraining order because of a rape allegation. You didn't go to back to jail because of a rape allegation. He's like, you said I was talking to you. I said, that is talking. You making videos for 14, 16 hours a day, that is fucking. Yeah. I think he wouldn't get it all together because for Bond, I think Bond, I think Bond can live with all the other stuff. I think he just really want that, that shit that other shit to be to be really made amends of because it's just like you in the algorithm he in the algorithm and he in the algorithm for that i don't care i don't care what y'all say about who said what and who manipulated the only person who brought it to the internet was storm no uh -uh. uh-uh that's not true remember the first person to do it was actually wiley wiley was the one who initially leaked the the abuse shit and, and then storm again, followed. And again, and again, and again, and again. I can lead a horse to water if everybody would come. At, if y'all had y'all powwow and y'all sit down, just like women, when they find out that they nigga been, been two-timing, and women sit down and they compare text messages and emails and stuff like mm-hmm. that. If y'all sit down and y'all want to figure out where all this information was from and who called who and who was on the phone with who and do 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 No. Mm-mm. That's what y'all need to do. Uh-uh. The same I thing can't I told Wiley. I said, why? Like, it's just... Because it, y'all were driving me nuts with all this shit. At, at, at the time it was going on, even up until the time that uh, me and Tasha fell out on your platform, I was so over it. I was just like, I, I can't believe this is even still a thing, really. So, like I said, but the people who brought it to the whether it was Wiley or Storm, who gave you that information? Well, you so, know, Wiley uh, had blamed you for all the information he was getting. He he verbatim said Chelsea is the one sending me. <laughs> All this information. Chelsea the one calling me. Chelsea the one okay, who's so sending me everything. Here's the, thing. here's the thing. If he has the text messages or the call log to prove it, he could put that out. One thing about Wiley, though, you, you, that nigga will. I remember he said that he spoke to on the phone with Jasmine, and I had called Jasmine. I said, "Bitch, you was on the phone with Wiley." <laughs> I had called Peaches. He said something about Peaches, but Wiley will tell it what's up. Mm-hmm. That nigga will tell mm-hmm. a bold, mm-hmm. a bold face motherfucking lie. Yeah. So if Wiley has any, any, if anybody has any proof, screenshots, voice record, it, I implore them to put that shit out yeah. because, um, like I said, Ron is upset with me. Yes, I never said it. I, I would be too, that, even even. And then here's my thing: I never put it on the internet. I I would, but I, it to my defense, I would be holding your ass accountable too because even if you didn't say it, you got you got your your girlfriend is out here saying it on your behalf, and you not getting out here behind her saying, "Uh uh-uh, uh, that's not oh, true." I just found this out. So if, if if you want me to hold me accountable for something that happened to you, me not knowing what was going on two years ago, yeah. I, I, I'm not doing. I'm not doing. That's that. how. That's how repentance works, Chelsea. It don't matter where they come seventy years later. <laughs> like it just comes. You know, like when it needs to be made right, it need to be made right. And okay. it need to be made right at the point of revelation. Like oh, because you ain't just learned about the rape shit. You knew the rape shit at the time. All the shit was going on because it was. So it was like being. I said, like I said, I thought it was y'all. I really did. I did. I thought y'all was just making up shit. I think Wiley had posted that I had an abortion in Mexico and all this. I really thought, I really, I really just thought it was far being a call chaser. You should have been on the phone with me and Tasha K because Tasha K justified all of her actions at the time towards Storm because of what she claimed you also had told her. And she gave me a whole backstory about how she, you caught her in the middle of the night about all this and you was crying and upset and she was in bed with Sheck. And she answered the phone, and you told her that Vaughn was trying to rape you, etc. And from there, that's when she started to devise a plan to get Vaughn Ray out. Mm-hmm. Get off my phone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Please, please. What? Please, please. You trying to throw me off my focus? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're trying to throw me off your focus. What you mean? I'm trying to throw you off your focus. <laughs> and she, she gave me, I mean, the way Tasha K 
told that thing, Chelsea, the way she detail by detail, hour by hour, daytime saving times, all like the way she got into her her narrative back. I mean, you ain't had no choice but to walk away from that being like, clearly, this must have happened because it's 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 too detail oriented. Yeah, I know. And the crazy thing is, one of the people who illuminated that for me was Tony the Closer. I had no idea that she was telling me Tony, oh Tony, yeah. talking about you, calling you a hoe, and da, 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 all this other stuff, and she's saying all this. So you know me, I'm talking shit back. Well, that yeah. ain't really got no money like that because who? Da, 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 I'm in response. She tells me to get on live. Get on live and then Tony get on live, curse mm-hmm. me out, talk about my edges, all this other shit. Say he got a forty mm-hmm. cow waiting for me, blah 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 blah. And then I speak to Tony's um, cousin or assistant, whatever he is, Keith. Yeah. And he's showing me a text message between Tony and Tasha wow. fifteen minutes before the live, and they're like, "Girl, um, Tasha's like, this is becoming too much. Let's get on live with me right now, and let's air all this out. Let's put this to rest. Um, Chelsea's been saying this stuff about you, and I just want y'all to patch it up and da 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 da, all this other stuff. And then I looked at my call log. She called me at ten ten twenty two. 10 38 or whatever she was like call me right now get on live this nigga trying to play me he trying to call you a hoe wow. so playing both sides literally playing both sides so with that that is the only like 110 percent proof of a live action of her playing it playing playing us me and tony Wow. Um, what's him a call against each other and so of course you know Tony Tony know this information but he was like you still said I didn't play football I said you didn't play football you played scrimmage that's not playing football you don't got no stats and you say I, I don't own no properties you, I, I don't know, own no million dollar properties you don't own no million dollar properties that little rickety shack in Philly is not no million dollar property you are renting um, an apartment uh, a co-op in Miami, I said these are all facts. He's just like Vaughn. He want me to apologize for the whole thing and take the whole thing back to make your your ego feel good. And I'm fucking not. I apologize for one thing and one thing only. Everything else that I said or did is truthful, and you deserved it. Did you believe him when he also said that Tasha K had been sharing with him that she'd been trying to get rid of you for a long time, but she just didn't know how to do it without a blow up happening because yeah. It, Larry had also said that she shared the same thing with him. Yeah. I believe that. Mm-hmm. Because I thought I was a sign on NDA. So I believe it. I'm just a sign. That, that, like I said, that didn't... It was the other stuff, like, yeah. tongue, like saying that I was fucking rappers and I was having mm-hmm. abortions and I had plastic surgery and I had a BBL mm-hmm. and I get lip injections and fillers because I'm insecure and I'm, and I'm this and that. It was the extra stuff. Yeah. You you saying that you had to get lawyers to fire me and all this stuff, that don't, I'm, at least I know, at least I know you were scared. So that don't bother me. Yeah. At least you know that I know that you have faith in me. Yeah. So that, and people thought that that was bothering, Tosh used to fire me over the the most, like, stupidest shit. She would fire me all the time. She was firing me because I was friends with certain celebrities. I went out to dinner with certain people. I went to parties with certain people and didn't invite her. She would fire me for anything. So the, the firing shit really did not bother me. Yeah. It was like all the other personal stuff. And that's what I'm talking about with Bondi. Bondi just started coming up. And this is what really, like, really let me know that the whole situation with Bond and Storm, like, she just didn't learn from it. Mm-hmm. Like, you just started letting Bondi come around. And this and this is another reason why I, this bitch just walked up to me. Like, we were, we were about to, because my building, I have a condo. And the, the, the floors below me is a hotel. So Bondi's staying in the same hotel as my building. So I'm getting ready to drive this girl back to the building or whatever because I'm just being nice. She just comes out of nowhere and asks me. She was just like, oh, um, you ever been pregnant before? And I'm like, huh? She was like, yeah, uh, uh, Bond, uh, Tasha told me Bond got you pregnant. Oh, wow. I said, huh? 
She was like, it's okay, girl, but we all been with a fuck nigga before. And she told me how you, you had to do this and that and how he was... Sh- and she was just like, but it's okay, you know, you can talk to me about it. And then she's telling me all this, sh- this shit that's not true. Wow. And she's like, yeah, Tasha told me everything. Like, it's cool, girl. You don't got to be embarrassed. You ain't got to be. And I'm just looking at her. And the crazy thing is she said it in front of Jasmine. So then Jasmine, of course, goes to Tasha and was just like, why the fuck would you why would you tell her like she's like, well, mm-hmm. that's all stuff that's on the internet already. So it did it, 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 it. And I'm like, so why does the internet, the queen of the internet, go gossip about what's? I said, why would you tell her some? Sh-? She's like, what? What are you? Like, it just, it, it just wasn't. It just did. It just didn't make no sense to me because it was like it happened two years ago. Yeah. So and you just met this girl six months ago. Why are y'all having conversations about me? Why are y'all even bringing up Vaughn? Why are you bringing up Storm? Like, why are y'all talking about this shit? And y'all supposed to be working, doing business, and doing shows. Like, it really Bondi was the final straw. Mm-hmm. Because it just didn't, it, it just did not make not a good sense. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Jesus Christ. So this is be so you and her are beyond like reconciliation. It's 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 beyond reconciliation. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it lets me know for the past the past three years you have single handedly made my life a living hell mm. and then tried to convince me that it was all my fault. <laughs> but she you did have... that. She did that with everybody, Chelsea. And you and you saw her. She did it with Larry. She tried to find something to blame him for in the friendship to justify why she mustered up a low grade ass smear campaign. She did the same thing with T. S. Madison. She was cool with that woman until she found something she could use. As as a justification to jump in on just hilarious going in on somebody she been wanting to give a one two and a biscuit to that's what she does that's what she does no it's, it's when she feels like slighted or when she feels like you 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 too much on what like, I don't know what the fuck I really don't know what the fuck but the whole trying to sabotage me it just didn't make it just really didn't make no sense to me she made a judgment. About you, she started planning early, and now she gonna wait until you rolled the ball in a situation that you're saying she ultimately fucked up, and then she gonna wait till you react to her fucked upness and all the shit she did in the relationship, and then she gonna do whatever she gonna do. Cause that's what she does. Well, like I said, um. When I get all my ducks in a row, y'all will know. Okay. And, and, and when, when my shit clears, so they So, are you saying there is going to come a time in the near future where you're going to deal with the Von Ray piece in just... Oh, yeah, because they plugged into my story. Okay. Oh, wow. Interesting. Well... Okay. Um. All right. Well, I'm not saying, please do not tell Storm because he's just he's just not. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I never did nothing to Storm. I never right. told Tasha not to be friends with Storm. I never told Tasha to right. be friends with Storm. So in my mind, Storm had nothing to do with this. So his beef with me is his own. So for whatever so if Storm's mm-hmm. looking for some vindication he will not get it from me cause bitch I never did anything to you you was beefing with that lady you should've been beefing with that lady my god today Jesus Christ well y'all was just a casualty of war as well y'all were just a casualty of war in 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 the Bond Ray Tasha at Chelsea saga so but I hope y'all get an opportunity to spin the block too and to put y'all bygones aside cause when shit get messy everybody's critical thinking gets a little blurred and you ain't 
you ain't thinking in your right mind. And it should be it just be too much shit going on at the moment to be completely right in how you move in every step of the way. Like you're gonna make some 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 erroneous decisions. Uh, I'm happy. My boyfriend be calling me sledgehammer head. He think it's funny. He be he be calling me who? He be calling me sledgehammer head. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> Hold on, how did he hear Slash Hammerhead? How did he even hear that? The girls at the shop be watching the videos. Oh my god. Since you did have a phone call with Vaughn, um, like I said, I think you should you should leave some room to consider if 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 that conversation will be made public. I mean, I asked him not to. If he does what he wants to do, then it just it just appears what it is. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be. A, I I ain't gonna lie. Like I I can't be mad at him because if a motherfucker put a rape on me, it, it's 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 it, it, uh it, it, every form of vindication is what is what's gonna happen. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't keep my word either. Like I said, I hope he's very, very intentional with um, understanding that I apologize for one thing. Yeah. But everything else, right? You deserved it, <laughs> and you it was it. Saying, it was not made up in my head. It was not out of out of a female emotion. Mm-hmm. No, at your big thirty year old age, you did some stupid ass shit. So therefore, I handled you like a stupid nigga. Oh my goodness! You and Vaughn gonna be friends one day. I can feel it. I can feel it. We friends now, but the problem is he think he 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 think his balls bigger than mine. He thinks his dick bigger than mine, and it's just my baby. You, my the man I lay next to, his his dick big enough. You gotta have a certain you gotta be a certain type of caliber nigga to tell me to shut the fuck up and think it's really gonna work out for you. Well, like you said, he told you he a rich, he a rich, he a rich he nigga a rich now. Mm-hmm. And one thing a rich motherfucker <laughs> never did was call themselves a rich motherfucker. If you knew the rich, you might do so. Yeah, like when you in that new rich smell, you know you might get your you might get your braggadocious on. And I'm I'm proud of him, and I hope he stays focused on his yeah. on his um passion and not get distracted with trying to be right on the internet. <laughs> Yeah. All you getting is monopoly money. You know what? <laughs> Follow the comments. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs>